in the light of 9-11, you know, Americans and Westerners in general needed to know what, where did this anger come from and where was this passion from that it could, have, could involve mass murder. So to his everlasting uh, disgrace, George Bush invoked the word crusade immediately after 9-11. We understand. And the American people are beginning to understand. This is this 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 crusade. This war on terrorism uh, is going to take a while. That was a great gift to Osama bin Laden, and it moved the whole argument into this thing of cruci Western Crusade versus Eastern Jihad. I think it will be a, a revelation to Western readers. You know, Europe could could very easily have been Islamic if the military tide had turned differently and, you know, conceivably uh, America could have been Islamic. This new book is uh, about Suleiman the Magnificent, who was the, the leader of the Ottoman Empire at its absolute peak of its glory. Suleiman is is thought to be the um, perfect representation of justice and creativity and power. Uh, starting at the year 1520, um, because that's when Suleiman comes to power and also when Charles V, who is the Holy Roman Emperor and the, and the head of the Habsburg dynasty in Central Europe and in Spain. It's a defined and very compressed um, uh, slice of history which um, I think just brings the issue of Christianity versus Islam in world history into high relief. So there's a question of who would rule Europe, Christians or, or Muslims. There's a question of who would rule Christianity, Roman Catholicism or Lutheranism. You have the sack of Rome. Coming out of the sack of Rome, you have the end of the Renaissance. So it's a very rich, very rich period. I know there are those who like to debate Turkey's future. They see your country at the crossroads of continents and touched by the currents of history. They know that this has been a place where civilizations meet and different peoples come together. They wonder whether you will be pulled in one direction or another. But I believe here is what they don't understand. Turkey's greatness lies in your ability to be at the center of things. This is not where East and West divide. This is where they come together.